Right. Hey, I'm Matt McCord. This is a U.S. Metal TV, and it's the hottest day of the yeah, effing year, man. I could have swore, but I didn't. Uh, I guess I got a clip on my tongue. So um, it's the hottest day of the year ever. It's going to reach 115 degrees today, and uh, I'm thankful for the air conditioning unit that uh, we got last year. It was a lot of work. Ugh. Oh, man. Don't get me started. And uh, the windows we got a couple years ago. So all together, it, uh, it's going to be good. So I want to know how many of you are out enjoying this weather. Now, I want to tell you this. You know, a lot of people complain about the, the rain here. They complain about, oh, it's not a good day. It's not sunny outside. Hey, man, I'll tell you, I walked miles and miles in the magical rain at uh, Portland Community College at Sylvania Campus for five years writing parking tickets. I came up with the best ideas I've ever had. I started my record company with the ideas I had in the rain. And uh, the sun just melts your brain, man. And it's different than it used to be. It killed my cat in 2009. I came home from Germany, which was, was ironically rainy as hell. And when I was in uh, New Jersey uh, at the airport, the rain was going so hard and so fast and the wind was hitting it that it would hit the plane and go foof so they had to delay all the flights and uh, i barely made it home and when i did i stepped off the plane into an inferno and uh i just never have really liked the hot sun for a long time i'm i'm known as the sun king i like to get tan because i don't i tan up really good because you know well i've got that one chunk of me that's african-american in my dna so maybe that's why but uh and I'm from Hawaii, so uh, ever since I was a kid, I get out in the sun and boom, I tan. But I can't stand being out in it like more than a half hour now. It's different. The climate change that you're talking about, I think, is real. And uh, <laughs> this is just June. Remember when June was so rainy that it rained baseball seasons out? I do. I, I remember... Uh, my stepson Ian, his baseball games would be rained out every week because it was muddy. Well, not this time. So uh, hopefully you guys have some way to stay cool. And, uh, you know, it's like you're a prisoner of the sun. A prisoner of the sun. <laughs> you go out and burn your bun. You're prisoners of the sun. Yeah, well, you know, whoever asked for this, yeah. you, you, uh, you got to be more precise on what you ask for. I like it about 80. I can handle 80, but 115 degrees, no. It melts everything. And you can't go out in it. It's, uh, if this is what our future is going to be like, it sucks. And, uh, I mean, really, we got the COVID, and that locked us up for a while. And then they have, oh, well, you can eat outdoors because, you know, no germs. They can't figure out the outside. They're, they'll just go away. <laughs> That's the most asinine thing I've ever heard. You know, we still, as Americans, cannot travel to Germany, Holland. The only European country we can travel to is France. As long as you can provide proof of your vaccination and take a test at your expense, 150 bucks a, a pop. And, uh, but I, Americans are allowed to travel to Serbia, Albania, <laughs> Libya, Syria, all the places you don't really want to go. Hey, and, but you know, and last night I saw in the news that Biden is uh, gonna do missile attacks on Syria. Well, what nobody talks about is Russia has thousands of mercenaries in that country. Then they're aligned with Saudi Arabia and Iran to take over Syria because of the oil reserves. And uh, they just don't mention that on the regular news, you know. You got to know somebody, and I happen to know somebody. My dad got a, a letter to go be a contractor in, in Syria. No, he hates it. Plus, he, he says, I'm too old for this crap. And uh, so I 
<laughs> the gas prices are definitely going to go up. And uh, it has nothing to do with the president. But, uh, hey, anybody else on unemployment? Uh, I have been since January 1st. That was my New Year's Eve present uh, to be laid off. And, uh, well, now, because nobody wants to go back to work, they've got a thing where you have to sign up for an iMatch for work search or something. It's like, you know, I have a job I'm going to go back to in September at Portland Community College. I don't want to give that up because I'm working someplace else, and I really don't want to start something and then quit. You know, I'd really like to just stay on the same program as promised. But, uh, man, who wants to be a food server in this time, you know, really? Hey, man, we've been cooped up, and now we're out here boozing it up. Give me some other... Uh, and what about the tip? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't pay tips. Uh, you know, illegally, uh, the eight percent law that Reagan put in. My mom came home as a waitress with zero on her check. It didn't count the tips. It counted how much she made, and so they taxed it all. Great. So, uh, in uh, a lot of ways, we are better off a year ago. And, uh, you know, man, Canada, I, my, I renewed my web hosting for the next 15 years. And same with the domain name. The web hosting guy is in Quebec, Canada. And I said, how's it up there? And he said, well, I said, I know some people in Toronto. I said, I know people in Toronto, but, and I can almost see it from my office. But we can't go there because all the arterial borders are closed because of the new strains of the virus. Uh, are making it unsafe to travel. Uh, this is a this is a far. It's, we're not even close to being back to normal. Uh, there's still some more parts that uh, nobody else is talking about. Also, but uh, you know, and only 60 percent in my state are vaccinated. They keep telling you there's more, so more people say, "Hey, hey they did it," and but it's not true. But. Uh, I guess that's all, and what else am I here to say? Oh, yeah, hey, as long as I'm here, you know, uh, since my unemployment seems like it's going to be ending, I thought it was going to end in June. So uh, this is a little grace period. I need people to buy some shirts, please. I have great deals on T-shirts. I'm going to drop the price. I'm going to drop the shipping, and uh, i got to clear them out. we got CDs. we got T-shirts, four wild dogs, a Dr. Mastermind, and a Mayhem T-shirt, and some of the shirts come with a, a free CD. So uh, there's my little pitch for the day. USmetal.com is where you need to go for that. And that'll give you a link to eBay if you trust eBay, or you can buy it directly from me. And uh, either way, I put it in the mail the same day I get the order. And uh, I'm Matt McCourt from US Metal TV. This is USmetal.com radio on television. So uh, I will talk to you later on. Thank you, and uh, stay cool, man. It's hot outside.